Hello, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll show you a straightforward way about to go with your skin retouching and color grading when it comes to Photoshop. And in case you want to download this raw image file along with this tutorial, simply check the link in the video description to download the raw image to follow along with this kind of tutorial. So I'm just going to come to the background layer and create two copies from the background layer by dragging and dropping on the new layer icon and simply rename this to color and name this to texture just like this. After renaming this, come to the color layer, turn off the textures, come to filter, come to blur, come to Gaussian blur, take the decider all the way down, and you click on an area on the skin that has more details, then drag up the radius slider, and stop at the point where you are just starting to lose out on the details in the skin area. So 6 is OK. I'll click OK, select the texture layer, turn it back on, come to image, apply image, the source is the name of the photo that we are trying to edit. Under layer, select color layer. Blending has to be add because this is a 16-bit image. The scale is 2. Offset 0. Turn on the invert option. Click OK. Change the blend mode from normal and change it to linear light. Then select both layers by holding down control. You can hold down command and drag them to put them into a group. Open up the group. Select the color layer. Turn off the texture layer. Come to the brushes, get the Mr. Brush tool, and for the settings, hardness set to zero, soft hand brush is selected, then clean brush is selected, and this second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%, load 75%, mix is 90%, flow is 100%, make sure sample orders is not checked. So after doing this, it is time to blend the skin tones or the skin color. So to blend, reduce on the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard and mix. So to, to mix, you simply click and hold down and you mix colors like that on the skin. Once you're done mixing a given color, you can either increase or reduce on the size of the brush by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. Like I said, mix the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone. And where they are transitioning from one color to another, just get a very small brush and you blend that border or that boundary to create a nice transition between those colors in the skin area. So I just come to this area and continue blending like this and blend and follow the direction of the way the model's body is shaped to keep and maintain the original shape of the model's face or your subject's skin. So I'm just going to do this. You can see for the cheek, it is moving in this direction. I have to move my mixer brush tool in this kind of direction. So I reduce on the size and do the same for the nose, blend the dark area on the nose and also blend this other dark area on the nose and get a small brush and blend on the highlight area of the nose. So ensure that you have painted on every area that has or contains skin tones in the image that you're trying to edit or retouch. So by just doing this, the skin is going to turn out to look retouched and smooth at the end of the process. So you can see what we have right now. So ensure that you blend every area that has skin, like I said, and you blend every skin tone to create smooth transitions. And you can as well work with this texture layer turned on in case you can see or identify the uneven skin tone transitions in the photo that you're trying to edit or retouch. So after blending the transitions between the skin tones, you can simply come and you remove the pimples or blemishes, select the texture layer, and simply come to the clone stamp tool. The shortcut is S. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. Then the mode is set to normal. Opacity and the flat 100%. Align this checked and the sample is set to current layer. Then zoom in by using command plus on the keyboard. Or you can use control plus on the keyboard. So to remove a pimple, for example, in this area, increase on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. Hold down option and click, option, click on a clean area near the pimple and reduce the option key on the keyboard and click once again over the pimple to cover the pimple with clean skin. So that is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the areas that have pimples or skin imperfections in this overall image. So take your time as you're doing this because after this, you're just going to head into the color grading process and try to create even skin color for our model or for our subject so like 
you can see the model really has a very nice skin and we don't have to deal with so much of the blemish removal in this case so once we're done removing the blemishes simply close the frequency separation group you can see before and after for just the skin retouching so in order to work on the skin color and create even skin tones simply create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e shift option command e for mac then for windows to shift alternate control e on the keyboard then come to select and come to subject so that you can select the edges of the subject in case you don't want to paint colors for the skin tone to other areas like the background then come and create a new layer and change the blend mode from normal change it all the way down to color and once you have changed the blend mode to color come to the brushes and get the brush tool and for the settings of the brush make sure the hand is set to zero soft one brush is selected the mode is set to normal or pass at 100 percent flat 100 percent you just want we just want to sample a color on the model skin that we want the rest of her skin to look like so just hold down option option on the keyboard alternate for windows and sample a color on the skin that we feel should represent the rest of her skin tones and after sampling that color you can go ahead and start painting that given color over the model skin so for this i'm just going to hold down option click to sample that color and you can as well increase on the saturation of that color by moving this towards the right hand side to intensify or increase on the saturation levels of the color then start painting over the skin so i'll quickly paint on the skin and you can see by just doing this it is going to start painting even colors on the skin color but this may sometimes look unnatural and a little bit unrealistic and i'll show you how you can easily perfect that color in majority of the areas of the skin so that it can look natural and a little bit more real or realistic so i'll quickly paint over the skin just like this so this looks a little bit orange but we can as well go ahead and perfect it later on so don't paint the eyebrows don't paint the makeup because you don't want to change or distort the subject is makeup at the end of the process so just come after painting you can just get the eraser tool and the work of the eraser tool is simply to rub away or erase colors from areas we did not want to paint in the first place and you can re reduce or increase on the size of the eraser by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so just going to erase it from the eyebrows like that come down and ensure that i've not painted anywhere on the model's outfit so to paint back color just press b on the keyboard to select the brush once again and the brush is going to help or enable you paint colors in areas that you may have missed out during the painting process once you're done painting over the skin you can press ctrl d or you can use command d on the keyboard to, de to deselect the active selection come the opacity and reduce on the opacity first of all so that the color can look a little bit real and realistic then come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer then in case the skin tone is looking too greenish or reddish you can come and select the reds and you play around with the hue slider of the reds just like this you can see so in case it's too green move this towards the red side and in case it's too red you can move it towards the, the green side so i feel like this is okay for me so i'll just come to the lightness of the reds and take down the lightness just like this and you can see this about this looks okay and it looks great so you can even enhance this by adding a color balance adjustment layer and simply come to the midtones and you can simply add a tiny bit of greens to the midtones just like this then come and add a black and white adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to multiply remember multiply is, is going to darken the image and take down the opacity of the multiply blend mode so in case you want to work on the blacks or the dark areas of the image to get perfect and a little bit cinematic blacks create a selective color adjustment layer and come and target the blacks under selective color and come the signs and move the sign slider all the way up just like this to your taste or to your liking so i feel like four is okay before after so this is how you can easily edit and color grade in photoshop so to do eye whitening simply come create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come to master make sure it is selected and come to saturation desaturate the image by moving the saturation slider down then press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert or hide the effect then get the brush tool 
ensure you have black and white on this color such as sort reset in case you have any color apart from black and white simply press d on the keyboard and with white as the top color you can simply reduce on the size of the brush and paint over the white area of the eye to whiten the eyes of the model or the subject command minus so this is how you can edit and in case the skin is still looking too orange or too yellowish you can as well create another hue and saturation adjustment layer come and target the reds once again and come to lightness and reduce on the lightness for the skin to look natural and a little bit more realistic so you can see the overall before for the skin retouching and color grading before after before after this is how you can simply learn to retouch and color grade your skin tones when it comes to photoshop i hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.